Hey everybody, welcome to the debut edition of Disc Degenerates here on Super Clash Video. I'm joined by David from Slash Vision TV. I'm Jeff from GCAP Recap. So David, my friend, how you doing today? Uh, I'm uh, sweating like Elvis in one of his last videos. It's like 108,000 degrees here in Texas, so it just, it just looks real bad. So if I'm sweating like a holiday ham, I apologize. Disc Degenerates. We have a problem. We buy movies. We love them. We'll buy, we'll blind buy things that are somewhere in the thirty, forty, fifty dollar range sometimes, which is yeah. pretty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very mani maniacal, right? I mean, I'm glad I don't share that. bank accounts. David knows that, and, and David is a fan as well. But he knows that I love Black Roses, Hard Rock, Zombies. Is you know, you know, one of my faves, as you all know. Trick or treat. Uh, yeah, trick or treat. I love all the the Hard Rock, heavy metal zombie horror movies that are out there so he asked me if i ever heard of a movie called hard rock nightmare which i i did not i've heard of rock and roll nightmare right with thor yeah i've heard of hard rock zombies but i not i've not heard of hard rock nightmare so david let me know that there's a pre-order dark force entertainment which i've never heard of and i went and checked out their site they got a lot of cool stuff on there but i did see the pre-order for hard rock nightmare and it sounded, you know, right up my alley. Him and I, you're right, David. We watched the the YouTube trailer, right? Yeah, we saw the trailer, and I was like, okay, I have to text Jeff about this. There was no other person that I that I had to text about this. Nobody I know watches this stuff. So I text Jeff, and naturally, we both saw the trailer, and it was just, yeah, we couldn't wait. We set her like a reminder for each other, <laughs> like, hey, if you let if you see it already up, let me know. And that's exactly what we did. Finally, it arrived. Hard Rock Nightmare. Yeah. In the nice slip. So it glows in the dark. It does glow in the dark. Even the back, I believe. The, the yeah. uh, claws. After seeing it on YouTube and seeing the actual the Blu-ray itself, the transfer that Dark Force did on this was just way too good. Like, way too good for this movie in general, because I, I did thoroughly enjoy the movie. It's just kind of... A, a, I would say it's like a more of a C movie style thing, but for it to look this good, I, I really don't even know what else to say about it. David did find a picture of the slipcover oh, and he sent it to me. And you know, Dave, David's a funny guy. He's a joker. So I thought he was, I thought he was, you know, b busting my balls. And I was like, all right, that's, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's the slip cover. Yeah. You know, I, I hate no, the hard one slip, but geez, it was poor. It looks like somebody drew a wolf with their feet. What? Like, I don't know what that is supposed to be. That's such bad. It's like the wear cat from Thriller or something like. But oh like a God, really, yeah. Really when I yeah, it's kind of like the wear cat. Like if it rained and they took a picture, like they drew him right after that. That just looks really bad. We're not going to give you guys any hard spoilers today. We're going to talk about the movie. So don't, if you haven't seen it, don't feel like you know we're, we're gonna we're gonna kill this you know, movie for you or anything. But to David's point, it felt like an uh, and I say this with oh gosh, like the the most sincere and endearment. It was like a like a USA Up All Night movie. It was it was oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be trash, and it was actually like it had a cool story. It was very different. Yeah. It had it had some twists. Acting had a lot to be desired, but I expected that. If you like the acting in Troll Two, this would basically be it. Like this is the same style of acting, except nobody pisses on hospitality in this movie. <laughs> Before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Hard Rock Nightmare is a story of a band, a hard rock band, that are practicing and they're making too much noise in their garage. So someone calls the cops on them, shuts them down with a noise ordinance, and they, they need a place to you know go play and practice and all that. So our lead character's grandfather, late grandfather I should say, has a house that's in the woods the band gets all their stuff in a van to go up there to play and that sets the narrative for the story and what it's about however we do have a prologue scene where it is our main characters having a nightmare slash flashback of his grandfather torturing him that he's a vampire and our lead stakes him in the heart in the middle of the, the afternoon that was, that was odd yeah it's kind of a weird murder I guess there's never a good time. <laughs> no, right, yeah. I'm just I'm like, I'm like aren't vampires they don't they don't go out during the day, but okay. But yeah, so he kills his, his grandfather. And he always believed his grandfather to be evil, but hey, he left him the house. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for like killing that. me, but my will, you can have my house. You can have my nice house. The lead character's uncle, he's played by Troy Donahue. As Stalker Channing talked about in Greece in her song. <laughs> oh boy, Stalker Channing. She looked like she was 40 in the middle of that movie. So yeah, he's the uncle. He's probably the only name actor in the movie, like recognizable name, right, David? Am I missing anybody? Yeah, yeah I don't see I don't recognize anybody, but they do look a lot like other people. I just yes. remember laughing and saying like certain people look like other actors. They they're kinda of like the like the great value version of better actors. <laughs> Yeah, one of the characters looks like Jim from The Office. Oh, yeah. Our secondary, like, main character slash hero. Yeah, I mean, if you were to, it kind of reminds me of uh, that scene on Spaceballs where they were trying to get the main characters and then you find out that it was just their stunt doubles and they look nothing <laughs> like them. It's exactly what this movie was. Whoever you think that they look like, that's them. Just worse. These movies, it's always important to have. Oh, yeah. You can't call yourself hard rock or metal or any type of stuff without yeah. having a good soundtrack. What do you think of the music? The first song that they played was as bad as uh, the Virgin song on Shock 'em Dead. If anybody's ever seen Shock 'em Dead and they're singing Virgin Girl, Google that, YouTube that, that song is just horrendous. But I will say this, the song in the middle that they're playing in the cabin, great. I thought it was catchy. Uh, and then the ending, the, the song at the end, like they didn't have too much music in between. It was just like those three songs that I could remember. Mm -hmm. But it's nowhere near the quality of Fast Way that you're going to get on um, Trick or Treat. It's nothing near anything on Black Roses, King Cobra, you know, uh, Lizzie Borden. You're not going to get any of that stuff. No. Uh, it's more generic. Like I said, if you've seen Shock em Dead, you're going to see the, exact, the similarities with the music. It was like it was like department store music. <laughs> yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Like those. Yeah, it was really bad. Like I would say, like, this, like I said, the middle song where they're playing in the cabin. I thought it was catchy. The ending riff, when you guys get to the end, if you guys make it all the way to the end of this movie, which you should, you should. that ending riff just, that was like the, the cherry on top of the whole movie. Yeah, it was it was awesome. It was awesome. And to, to go back to what you were saying earlier, the transfer on this thing, when we watched the trailer, you and I, right? I, I actually found this on the movie on YouTube, and it looked like it was shot on video. It looked, uh, as you said, yellow. It looked horrible. So I'm like, great, we just paid $30 for this. And I I will tell you, though, Dark Force Entertainment, I mean, this looks like a brand new movie. It, yeah. it, they totally cleaned it up. It looks like two totally different movies. Oh, yeah. I mean, the yeah. audio was great. Everything. So. Yeah, big time. Hats off to Dark Force Entertainment. The slip cover artwork's a little funky, but it does glow in the dark. And it, I mean, it yeah. does have a slip cover, right? Here's the... This is the original, I guess the original like VHS cover, poster, so. yeah, poster. Yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover because when we saw the, the cover, I was like, oh God. I would say that I have high hopes now and higher standards because of Vinegar Syndrome. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody makes the covers like those guys. Not even close. I don't think anybody can. I give them, uh, it was for effort. They yeah. tried their best with this. But I will say that the disc quality everything the sound it even sounded really good too they win 110 percent on this transfer and you're right yeah vinegar syndrome's uh presentations like best in class as far as i'm concerned so i think that's something right. we agree on but i will tell you yeah but the transfer that they did on this thing beautiful but i would not yeah. shy away from buying something from dark forces in fact i actually did get get some more stuff we'll probably cover on a another video oh, yeah some good stuff too yeah yeah, some stuff yep. I really wanted. So, um, but yeah, and I'm I'm gonna be on the look, you know, look out for more of their stuff. Soft spoilers here. What are what are some of your favorite scenes? From this oh movie? boy! Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go all out for this one. Uh, there was a scene in there where a guy tries to get um, some special attention downstairs. If you guys know, um, his girl didn't want to do it, and he kept telling her, "Hey, go ahead and touch it. Come on, just look at it. Touch it." Um. She tried giving him a hand job and he ended up getting his head completely knocked completely like straight off uh killer clown style like it mm -hmm. just went he knocked his block off Hi. uh he didn't get to finish poor guy uh because everybody got scared but that to me was like one of the funniest parts of the whole movie because the acting was just so horrible in this one particular scene but it just made it funnier 
really funny. Our, our favorite scenes are sex related scenes, but yeah, uh, our lead character, I said the taller one, he has sex with the hot chick of the movie. And she basically called him a woman, a brother, real fast, one and done. He didn't last long. He, she was very disappointed. And she just one liner after one liner cut him oh, down he, for the next five minutes. Of, and I, I was yeah. literally like legit laughing out loud. She roasted him bad. Uh, he lasted a little less than Ashtray on uh, Don't Be a Menace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, that dude was just, man, I felt bad for him. Like, at first I was laughing, then I was just kind of, my heart broke. I was like, oh, this poor guy. Yeah. Like, she, she continues like to literally cut a promo on him. And oh, then he right. tried to downplay her too. Like that always normally happens when like you get turned down from somebody, you start downplaying them like they weren't any good. Yeah, and he tries, yeah, to, yeah, right. he tries to shoot her with like some good one-liners and she just went back and deflected all of them and continued to rip this man up. I felt bad for him. Right, yeah, I did, I did too. I mean, but it was, it was funny. And also, David. Yeah, speaking speaking of our uh, his, his, his character's name was Charlie, the one who didn't last yeah. very long with the, with the chick. Uh, so I come to find out through some research. Uh, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, so that's that was a sad thing. But I did not realize that he was a, a very very popular personal trainer, almost what personal trainer to the stars. He trained Tobey Maguire to have that body that Tobey has in Spider Man. He yeah. also uh, trained Brad Pitt. Is in there, so he had a hell of a resume. I, I, I believe he like I believe he also wrote a book. So very actually, actually, you know, did not continue as a leading man, but definitely paid, played a big role in Hollywood. Yeah, Greg Greg Jujan Roche is his name. He played Charlie, who I, he was my favorite character. Unless you have anything else, David, I have any 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 last words on Hard Rock Nightmare. It, this is an easy search. If you want to look for this movie, it's an easy Google search. But I'm going to recommend just going and buying it. You, you, that it, Looking at it on YouTube is not going to do any justice for this movie at all. You really have got to go out and buy this. And I'm not. we're not getting paid for none of this stuff. It's just, it is a legit, you have to watch it. And I would say this to the ending. The ending is a great payoff through the whole thing like it can be real cheesy yes the acting can be real hokey yes but the story the story is really there and it's like okay cool the story gets a little weird some little parts here and there but when the ending hits you're not gonna get you're not gonna guess i couldn't have guessed the ending either no i'm, I'm always somebody that can figure out the ending i did not figure it out until you know it happened and we don't, definitely don't want to spoil it because I think that's a lot of fun yeah. in watching it the first time. Well, yeah, let me say this is not sponsored content. Like we did, we we, no, we bought this ourselves because we have a problem. So we yeah, blind we blind bought this movie because that's what that's what we do. We're not kissing uh, this company's ass for anything. No. It's just the, for the pure joy of a blind buy that we were not expecting it to be as good as it was. I want to watch this again, and I'm not kidding. I want to watch this again very soon. I want to show other people that yeah. other friends of mine that this movie is actually worth watching. You have to look for this movie on dark forces we're probably gonna most likely we're gonna link it in the bottom of this uh in the, the description but you have to go out and look for this movie there's no way like I, I can't say more than enough good things about it and a lot of times when i tell people about movies that i like they always real off-putting but i think this is one that people are actually going to gravitate to just for the ending and yeah we'll link we'll definitely link it in the description below so that's it everybody thanks for watching that is david i am jeff we are Disc Degenerates. Hey, if you like the video, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. Until next time, keep buying. And as Turbo Man says, always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Yeah, sure. Let's go.